This is a Zeiss upright axial scope 2 plus microscope. We've configured this microscope with the better head. This head is about a $4,000 head. It was, um, they normally use them on the axial plans, but they're adaptable to the axial scope version as well. It allows 100% of the light to the camera port, 100% of the, or 100% of the light to the eyepieces, or a split with 80-20, 80% of the light to the camera port, 20% to the eyepieces. And this is your three position knob. It has a field stop and an aperture stop diaphragm. These are the centering screws. And it has a filter slider that also acts as a shutter. You turn this, push this all the way in and it blocks 100% of the light. You want to always block your light when you're not using the, when you're not looking at it because otherwise you're going to be photo bleaching your specimen, your, your filter cubes, as well as phototoxicity on your cells. We've configured it with several objective lenses. We can change these objective lenses however you may need. It's got a right hand stage. And it's got a universal condenser. The condenser has a flip top on it. This is a flip top portion. You would use this at the, at the lower power objectives like a 2.5 or in this case a 5 point, a 5x. It's got a, two centering knobs for the condenser. What you're going to want to do is to turn it to about a 10 power, 10 power objective. You're going, to, you're going to want to close down your luminous field diaphragm so that you can get this luminous field diaphragm in view but focused. Raise or lower this condenser so that the luminous field diaphragm is in focus. You need to get this first thing to do on the microscope, or really on any microscope, is to set color illumination. So once you've raised and lowered this so that the field diaphragm is in focus, you center it, then you open up this aperture, this diaphragm, just, just past the field of view. Then you've got pro proper color illumination set. You also have a di iris diaphragm inside the condenser. And you've got some neutral density filters on the transmitted light. This is a halogen light source, the bottom light source, transmitting through the specimen, as opposed to reflected light from the mercury reflects down onto the specimen, does not transmit through the specimen. These neutral density filters, 1.5, 6, and 25, it's also got a frosted diffuser. I leave this frosted diffuser in place so that you don't get any distortion from from looking at your your filament in your halogen bulb. You want that totally diffused so you can't see it in the image at all. It's got fine and coarse focusing. It's also got a travel lock stop. This is a focusing travel lock stop. So I'm lowering the stage. If I set it, then it won't raise anymore. So you have to turn it off to be able to raise and lower it. The idea is you, you set this travel lock stop. You bring, the, bring this all the way up. In the very maximum position you think you'd ever want to go, you're going to want to set it. And that way, you don't break your slide. We've configured it with a, a camera and a C-mount, but you'll have to look at the ad to see what camera is included, if any. We can add different versions of cameras. It's got a diopter on one eyepiece. What you're going to want to do is to focus, use your focusing knobs, get one eye in focus, and then Leave the focusing knobs alone and adjust this diopter so your other eye is in focus. It's also got an interpupillary distance, so you can adjust it for the distance between your, your eyes for your particular needs.
your filter cubes are inside and it's easy to pull them out. They're the newer version, push and click. We've also labeled each cube as to what it is. So you know the wavelengths. You can change the filter cube by turning this knob. You have a 3200K light button on your, your halogen. You press this button, it goes to the proper voltage to immediately set the light to 3200K. You can change it by the, the light intensity. Your neutral density filters, the reason for those is you may not want to change the color intensity of the light whenever you're looking at a specimen, but it may be way too bright for you. So that's why you use a neutral density. If you just change this light intensity, what it's doing is changing the voltage. And that voltage going higher or lower is also going to change the color temperature of your bulb. You've got settings on your mercury. All these adjustment knobs, three millimeter hex, and what, what you're going to want to do is to is to put a, a white sheet of paper or a slide where you can the, the white part of it to see the the arc image, and adjust these knobs, and then use the collector lens to get everything in a fine, even, full field of view illumination. If you need any other configuration on this microscope, different objectives, different filter cubes, if you need phase contrast, DIC, if you wanted to change out the mercury system to an excite, for example, metal halide system, we can do all those things for you. Just let us know. If you have any questions about this Zeiss Axial Scope 2 Plus, upright fluorescence microscope, please contact us. Thank you.